Hey guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. Just ahead of Christmas, a deadly winter storm hits the United States with massive impacts. SpaceX has told its employees to leave its Starbase launch site for their safety concerns. Now the South Texas launch site is deserted with minimal activity on site. Yesterday, the extremely cold temperature dropped below freezing point. We could see frost forming on the side of Booster 9. You can imagine how cold it would be. But on a positive note, it could be a nice extreme environmental stress testing for the rocket. So, what can we expect after the holiday break? Booster 9 hopefully passed the cryogenic proof test a few days ago. We expect Booster 9 to roll back to the production site for engine installation. Starship Gazer took a great shot of a herd of raptors inside a tent. As Booster 9 is an upgraded booster, it will also feature new upgraded raptors. Gazer also spotted a few new beefy pieces of equipment which could be the additional hardware for the chopstick arms for catching a Starship. Going across Florida, in Launch Complex 39A, the giant Liebherr crane has been reconfigured to possibly start lifting equipment including the chopstick arms and some GSEs. SpaceX is aiming to end its record-breaking year with two back-to-back -back launches. On December 28, another batch of Starlink satellites will be on its way to orbit on top of a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. And less than 24 hours, from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, SpaceX will attempt to end this year launch campaign with the launch of Israeli military satellite, Eros C-3 mission. NASA has confirmed that Crew-6 mission will be launched mid-February carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station. 2023 will be such an exciting year for the space industry and especially for SpaceX. I will make a separate video wrapping up what SpaceX achieved this year. That is it for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.